In recent days, leading Democrats have proposed banning new guns and confiscating existing guns from law-abiding citizens. What they don't tell you is the bad guys aren't giving up their guns. And you're not going to be giving up your guns either. You know that the only way to stop a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. Now, I wanted to be a little bit more original than to use a phrase that you've probably heard a thousand times. But what's a better phrase than that? We can't do better. How simple is that? You know, a lot of being president is common sense, right? Don't you think, right? It's common sense. Because as the famous saying goes, when guns are outlawed, only outlaws will have guns. Very simple. Violent crime is way down. Murders in America's largest cities dropped by 6% between 2017 and 2018. But I do have to ask you, what the hell is going on in Chicago? What is going on? We could solve that problem. We would have been down even a lot more. And it's not a tough problem to solve. You got to let law enforcement do what they have to do. They'll solve the problem very quickly, very quickly. We don't think enough about the victims. They're too worried about the people that caused the crime. It's got to stop. That thought process is no good. Far left radicals in Congress want to take away your voice, your jobs, your rights. And they especially want to take away your guns. You know that. They want to take away your guns. Dealing with these people is very, very difficult if you haven't noticed, okay? Any politician would have given up a long time ago. These are very, very dishonest people, okay? Nobody gets it. Why? They're opposed to strong military. They're opposed to all of the things we've done, including making our nation wealthy, including high GDPs, including all of the security and all of the law enforcement, all of the things we're doing. It's incredible. Nobody understands it. Someday we're going to figure it out and I'll feel much better about it. But why are they opposed to things that truly make our country great? Why? Nobody gets it. I don't get it. The level of dishonesty and corruption in the media is unbelievable. But we're stuck with activist judges who seek to rewrite our Constitution to force their own radical views onto our country. Under my administration, we will never surrender American sovereignty to anyone. We will never allow foreign bureaucrats to trample on your Second Amendment freedom. And that is why my administration will never ratify the U.N. Arms Trade Treaty. I hope you're happy. By taking these actions, we are reaffirming that American liberty is sacred and that American citizens live by American laws, not the laws of foreign countries. Thank you.
They all want the pen. Can you believe these people? Should I give it to them? Famous pen.